So today we're going to talk a little bit about sculpture. What is sculpture and why is it different than any other synth that you have? Well, sculpture, instead of using oscillators or samples to create the sound that's going to go through the various nefarious processes to create your sound, um, it actually it has a, a representation of how a string vibrates in space. Um, the original algorithm for how that was done was called the car plus strong algorithm. It was just an impulsive noise that went through this delay, fed back into itself through a filter, and it ended up creating this very buzzy sounding string. And later on, uh, some other guys, oh, like Julius O. Smith III, um, came in and looked at the model and made it even better. And um, that technology eventually became uh, the same technology that they used to model synthesizers like the Nord Lead or the EVB3 or the EVD6 or the EVP88 or any of a number of other modeled synthesizers. So if we come over to sculpture here, this green line, that's actually a um, string. And the number one and two and three that you see here, those are the objects that are exciting the string. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can excite a string, right? You can bow it, you can pick it, you can drop something on it. There's all these different things you can do to make a string make noise. And all of those things are the objects that you see here. Here's object one, object two, and object three. Okay? So it's starting to make a little more sense. If you want a, a cool little animation to show you how the string is being excited, uh, just right click or control click right here and enable string animation. So that'll uh, <laughs> eventually show you the string animating as you play. I've got what's called impulse here as the type of exciting that I'm doing with this. And you see this little orange oval here, uh, the more uh, brilliant or standout that gets, um, the more this object is exciting that string. So now if I go to bow, then it's bowing the string instead of just plucking it. Now if I go to object two and turn it on, and I'll put object two here, I get a couple other options. I have Impulse, which is kind of a burst on the string. Strike, which is like striking it with a hammer. Gravity stride, that's like dropping something from a great height. Picking, bowing, wide bowing. Noise, blowing, like, uh, not bowing, but blowing, where you're blowing over the string, um, which gives you, if you take any string um, instrument, like a harp or something like that, and you put it out in a, in a light breeze, it'll eventually start making tones because the uh, strings start resonating. Um, from the vibration of the wind going over them. And uh, on suspension bridges, if they're not designed very well, it'll actually make the whole bridge oscillate and get destroyed. There's a really interesting video on YouTube if you ever look it up on that. Anyway, so we've got Disturb, which is um, taking the... Uh, disturb basically takes the impulse from the first object and adds chaos to it. Let's see, this one will be bouncing. I'm gonna bounce something on the string. So I'm gonna hold the note down and I'm going to turn up the intensity. Now if I move this around, you'll hear the tone and the, uh, the tone shape change. You can also see that string animation is going crazy. Now for the third object, maybe instead of a uh, instead of something that's exciting the string, I can actually use something to dampen the string. So obviously, the more dampening I get, the more it affects the harmonics and changes the characteristics of the sound. Now let's talk about this section for a second. We have object one, object two, and object three, but we also have pickups. It's kind of like if you were picking a guitar and you went closer to the bridge or closer to the nut. So once you get past that section, over here you have the material. So do we want a nylon thing? Do we want a steel thing? A wood thing?
or you can make an amalgam of them. And then I can change the, uh, I'll choose Boeing for my second object now. Weird sounds. Nothing quite sounds like sculpture, uh, nothing that I've found. Uh, very, very interesting plugin. Now, once it gets through um, the object phase, so we have the string, we have the objects that excite the string, then we have the material that um, the string is made out of. So a wood string is basically like a marimba, right? It's like the bar on a marimba. Um, if it's steel, it's going to be like a steel string. If it's glass, it's going to be more bell-like. And then you have nylon, which is more like a nylon string guitar or something with gut on it. Um, then we have, let's see, we have our filter. And then we have, let's see, ADSR. Oh, and then body EQ. So check this out. This EQ is basically modeled EQs that are modeled after specific bodies of specific instruments. So an acoustic guitar body, it has a EQ signature or a, a, a sort of um, spectrum sin signature that looks like this. So what we're trying to do is, is apply an, an, a complex EQ to make our sound a little more acoustic guitar-like. Take a string that we've created here that's being excited by a pick and then it we make it a steel string and then it goes through the body of an acoustic guitar. Now to give you some examples, in the presets here, you can just study the presets. If we go to like a uh, modeled bass and go to, let's see, what's a good one? Muted bass picked. It sounds like it could almost be a sample. But since it is a model, it performs better at um, extreme lows and extreme highs. And it's also a little bit more responsive. Um, but if we just have a look at this, we can see that the string, the objects on the string are at the far ends, like one is a dampener, and that's going to be the mute on the muted bass that we're picking. And then we have the pick, and the pick is happening way over here, down by where the pickups are, just like a real bass. So um, the material is like somewhere between a nylon and a steel string. It's going through a low, mid, high body EQ. And then we just go through a pretty standard um, envelope to our output. That's a conventional string instrument, right? Well, maybe we should try something kind of weird, like I was just doing. Um, let's go to the modeled pads and go to, oh geez, maybe moon trance pad. And let's have a look at this. So we've got three objects on the string, a bow, noise, and then mass. <laughs> Sounds very breathy and steam like. The material is steel ish, but honestly, it doesn't end up sounding much like a string anymore because of the. We're using noise, which is like. It's essentially taking white noise or static and applying it to a string and seeing what happens. If we go to our model bells. You have very rich, rich bells and things like that to just uh, give you a really quick um, sort of tease. Down here in the morph section, this A, B, C, and D, those are all completely different settings on the, dial, on the dials and knobs and things. And you can actually make sculpture pass between those things, uh, pass between those settings when you hit a key. So it's actually really cool, and I might go over that later, but I'm afraid that I might be, I might have run out of time already. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Have fun playing around in sculpture. Just keep in mind that you're working with strings, you're not working with oscillators, and how you um, think of yourself is, it's as if you had, you know, when I was a kid, I used to go to the piano, and I would lay knives and forks over the strings and then play the piano. It's kind of like that, but um, your mom won't get pissed at you. All right. Have a great day.